VH with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, welcome, I'm Elke and I make videos about my pet Born Owl. Today Robert and I wanted to go on a walk and we didn't necessarily plan to take Loki along with us. Loki is the name of my Born Owl by the way. Um, but yeah, then I got the luminous idea to, to take her because it's a beautiful day here in Belgium. The sun is shining. It's not real. It's not really hot or anything. It's not summer yet, but it's a beautiful day. The weather is dry, so I thought I would take Luki along with us uh, because she loves walks. Owls are really curious, and they love to sit on your glove and just look around while you are walking. It's obviously been a really long time since I've recorded an English video, so I apologize for my English, which is gonna be really bad in this video. Yeah, uh, we took backup along as well, obviously, which is our German Shepherd, and we always go to this forest um, at the border of Belgium and the Netherlands. It's called the Ossendrichtse Heide in Dutch, and it's a really nice forest. Um, yeah, the scenery changes a lot. I don't know how to explain that in English, but I'll show you when we get there. I'll see you in a minute. Well, in 30 minutes, actually. Okay, bye, I'll see you in the forest. Go. Yeah. The dog thinks that my selfie stick is a stick I'm gonna throw at him so he can catch it. Luki is behaving so well. I can already tell that she really appreciates this. She is totally in her element. Oh my god. I love it. She's so calm. She's like, yeah! <laughs> Chilling in the forest. Oh look. Oh dear. Yeah, that is something Backup always does. He gets his stick and then he runs around with it. But if it's a really big stick, he'll hit us with the stick accidentally as he walks by us. He's always all over the place. Ah, oh, this feels nice. So this is going to be a two-hour walk through the forest. And there's Robert being his gorgeous self. Oh, 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 So we usually let Backup run loose in the forest here because Backup is really obedient. When we ask him to come, he comes and he, he doesn't even, uh, I don't know how to say this in English. Really? He doesn't go far when he's loose. He never stays uh, too far behind. So he's like the most loyal dog I've ever known. I'm never afraid that he'll go after a rabbit or anything. He doesn't do that. And yeah, Luki is just chilling. Chilling like a villain. <laughs> la la la. Sunshine forest. You know, and now she's looking at the dog. She's like, what are you doing, you silly? Oh, 
Because these ones took another spot. Oh, it's always wants to flee. Sit. Sit. Look how beautiful it is here. <laughs> There's Beckup going after his stick. I hope I'm not making you guys nauseous or anything. <laughs> so, for the newbies here, as you can see, Lucky stays on my glove. I did tie her to my glove. I always do that, just to be sure. Um, she's trained very well, so she stays on the glove. Um, and she doesn't try to fly away. Because she can, she can try to fly away. Um, and it happens occasionally. If she sees a really interesting tree, <laughs> for example, uh, she might try to fly away. And of course, then I will stop her. Um, and I've learned how to do that in Falcon retraining. So, but. She usually doesn't try to fly away, as you guys can tell. She just poops occasionally, <laughs> like she just did, and uh, she enjoys the environment. And sometimes we stop to put her on a branch and she'll enjoy that even more. Because then we're not walking and she can really absorb the environment. And usually after a walk, whether it's an hour long or a two hour long walk, she'll be really tired. She will just come home, sit back on her perch and fall asleep and be happy. Back up. Don't run in front of my feet. Soft, soft, you often. Oh. oh, my God, you guys, Luki is preening herself while she's sitting on the glove walking through the forest. And I quickly grabbed my camera and started filming again because this is a really good sign. If your bird does this, it means it's feeling super comfortable. In the situation. A bird preening is like the best sign ever. And she's also really fluffy as you can see which means which which is also a sign she's feeling super comfortable and she's rousing. All of these things are signs she's having a blast. Uh, I already made a video about these signs. Uh, you know it was a video about how to tell if your owl is feeling comfortable and happy and yeah I just want to capture that on camera because it's so cute Hoi hoi.
Ah, geeft jij mij eens een kusje en ik doe kie. Maar ik heb kom eens hier. Heb... Doe maar erop zo. Nee, nee, nee. Dat is So right now you can see that Luki is making herself really thin and that's because there are other people passing by with dogs. See? And she does not like it. <laughs> so this is how you can tell that an owl is a little bit scared or stressed. It's if they make themselves really thin, thinner than usual. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back in the car. My nose is running super hard because of the cold air, the outside air. And uh, I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. If you love owls, then go check out my owl store where I sell all kinds of cool owl items like t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, jewelry, lots of cool stuff. Uh, the link will be in the description box down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm so sorry for the bad lighting. Bye!